All around this country, there are thousands of young fellows who are suddenly awakening to the fact that they like girls. Girls eventually grow up to be women, so a word of warning is due these boys. Now, fellas, don't be deceived. That young lady you like is no different from all the rest. Or shape may be curvier, her hair more golden, her nose cuter, but underneath it all, she's a woman, and they're all alike, so take care. First of all, they like to talk, and you can get along with them quite well if you're willing to listen. You'll find that a woman is a thing of beauty and a jaw forever. One subject about which they're always talking is clothes. They're forever shopping for clothes, making them, trying them on, remodeling them, exchanging them, or discarding them. They have closets full of clothes, but never have the right outfit for next week's party. If you have a sister, you've already noticed a few things about girls, such as the bathroom being their own special domain. Girls have taken over the shower curtain rod as an ideal place to dry their stockings overnight. And you all know about the medicine cabinet. It used to hold iodine, liniment, and cough syrup. Today, it's the storage space for five different shades of lipstick and nail polish, hair nets, lotion, bobby pins, eyebrow pencils, creams, salves, tweezers, eyeshadow, eyebrow curlers, cologne, emery boards, powder, mascara, and tucked away in the corner, Dad's razor and blade, still wet from shaving Sis's legs. Women are generally shy about telling their ages, usually about three years shy. Ever watch girls running for shelter during a rainstorm? They cover the front of their heads with a purse or a magazine. Makes no difference if their clothing gets wet, as long as those front curls don't get damp. Girls are notorious for changing their minds. And when you marry one, she'll change your habits, your clothes, your friends, and your hours. After you're married, and you will be, you know, remember these little tips. When she greets you at the front door, nicely dressed with makeup on, and announces that she's made your favorite dinner, she's either smashed the grill on your new car, gone through the garage wall with the car, the department store charge account bill has come, or all three. When she says that little Junior has been very bad today, he's always your son. And when he's been good and clever, he's always her son. In closing, fellows, remember this. Marriage is the most expensive way to get your laundry done free. A boyfriend is something that every girl wants. Some girls have more than their share. Girls' fathers don't think they're good enough. Girls' mothers tolerate them and their appetites, and little brothers provoke them. Boyfriends have the uncanny knack of always picking the wrong time to do and say things. He'll bring a new friend of his over to meet you when your hair is up in curlers while you're scrubbing the front porch. He'll mention the new dress you bought on the sly with the help of your mother right in front of your father who wasn't in on the secret nor the price. And speaking of money, a boyfriend has more ways to spend money and less money to spend than anyone else you know. Boyfriends and cars just seem to go together. His car is a 1950 model with a souped up engine and dual exhaust. Hanging from the rear view mirror is your scarf and a large pair of dice. It's not the newest car on the road, but he's driving it and, well, it's sharp. Of course, he's always got the radio tuned to the most popular radio station in town. And you both can listen to your favorite DJ playing the songs that have a special meaning for you. Ah, that's really living. The latest records, your boyfriend, and his very own car, with only 13 more payments left. Boyfriends are not much for dancing to rock and roll tunes, although they do like to dance to the slow and dreamy numbers, providing the lights in the hall are turned down low. It's during these dances that he sings the words to the song, slightly off-key, right in your ear. And this is where your lipstick smears his collar. A boyfriend will try to pretend that he doesn't care much for other girls, but you catch him looking at them, and somehow you don't really mind, because you remember what he whispered to you last night when he said goodnight. 
A boyfriend likes bowling, sports cars, drive-in movies, all kinds of food, your mom, sometimes your dad, auto supply stores, swimming, weekend jobs, and, of course, you. He doesn't like your old boyfriend getting up in the morning or going to bed at night, salads, mowing the grass, cleaning the family car, or getting conventional haircuts. A boyfriend is truly a miraculous creature. You may never marry him, he may move away and you'll never see him again, but you'll always remember him as your first real teenage boyfriend. Girls, if he's with you right now, why not lean over and kiss him and thank him for being your boyfriend?